Hello people of the web and welcome back to the Lifecraft server. We're next to the mob farm, A, because watching things drop down like that is fantastic, and B, because I want to do a little bit of work on this room. And yes, I'm still wearing my golfing outfit. I spent a little while making it, so I'll keep it on for a bit. It'll probably come off at some point during this episode. While the floor and the ceiling in this room is down to Hushbug to decorate, there is something that I really want to do, and that's build a staircase up. Because in our base, we currently have no way of getting to the surface other than going via the nether, which is less than ideal. So what I'm thinking, not there, let's go there to there, that would be in the centre, is building a staircase up here that kind of loops round and comes out at the top of the mob farm, which is where we have our little island. However, that's going to take me a little while to work out routing for, because quite a lot of elevation to go up. We are at Y20, and need to get over there. This might be something to do on a live stream, I think. The stream finished a little while ago. I've had enough time to make myself a cup of tea, and now I'm just coming back to record a little bit of a view of what happened during the stream. Now, this doesn't look like a particularly big room compared to some of the builds that I've done, but it, it took a good couple of hours to dig out and line this wall. So it's a bit of a grind, but I had some amazing company, including some new people to the channel, whom I'm hoping are watching this video. In which case, uh, hello! Thank you for joining, and thank you for making my stream fun. You're all amazing, and I appreciate you. Now, the room down here, I kind of want to leave as is for now, because what I do with it is a little bit dependent on what Hushbug does in this room for the floor. Now, of course, while I was working on the staircase, the mob farm was loaded. And so I think we've got plenty of drops in that I know that this is full, but I have a, a sneaky suspicion that, yep, that's full. And, whoa, that's over half full. For a generic mob farm, we're getting plenty of drops. And, of course, that's just gunpowder. We get the same thing with bones and rotten flesh and arrows. I dare say we might even have some redstone. Although, it probably hasn't filtered down to here yet. Uh, resin? No. Maybe I'll check the filter and see. Now, all of the items that fall into these last six sorters are things that we get from witches. Now, you get very few witches spawn, and of course the chance of them dropping any of these items is pretty slim. So, the fact that we've got 18 redstone dust, I'm quite impressed by. Especially as there was only one in there to start with. It's not... It didn't start with many. Oh, how do I get out? Um, I didn't think, think that through, did I? Um, I only have four rockets. Hey, I'm out. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, masterful pro moves. Now, there's a few things that I haven't got a lot of, one of which is sand. And my intention is to build up the island around the top of that staircase so that it looks semi-natural, which means I'm going to need sand... So I'm going to make a, a, a trip and see whether I can find a desert somewhere that I can grab loads of sand from. Now, while there is sand around the base, I don't really want to grab it from anywhere that people will visit. So I'm going to take a bit of a trip out and see what I can find. Well, I would say this looks a bit like a desert. This will do nicely. So this thing happened where I was mining in the desert, it turned night and there was phantoms. So I found a nearby shipwreck, shut myself in, just sipped my tea, and then when I thought I'd just check whether it's daytime, went outside into the into the uh, water, and there was a drowned throwing a trident at me. He dropped it. I got a trident! I finally got one! I love tridents. Now I'm trying to be friendly to the environment in that I'm taking away sand, but I'm trying to leave it not looking like a sand quarry. So I'm just trimming off a few layers and, and leaving it with a bit of a slope still so that it doesn't look hideous for the next person that comes by. Uh, another one spawned. Um, any chance? Well, I got a drowned head. That's relatively rare. Not quite a trident, but I'll take it. Well, I was going to grab some more sand. But my inventory's nearly full, and it's night time, so 
I'd have to wait around for the phantoms to disappear. So might as well just see if I can find my way home. I think it's this way. Probably. Yep, this is definitely the way home. Because this is something I think Enigma was building and then gave up on. I don't know what it is, what it was going to be. I'm going to have to ask him at some point. Ooh. I wonder what that signifies. Oh well. I'm sure I know we'll know when I ask him about his... Circle thingy, my bobby. This is promising. And... Home sweet home. Now while I really want to use this trident, I'm afraid of putting channeling on it or loyalty because I'm... Wait... Is it channeling and loyalty? Riptide or channeling. That That's the options. Because I don't know which kind of trident I want. So for now, I'm just going to put it in the weapons chest. And uh, it's there for when I feel I need a trident. Then I can decide. Or if I get a second trident, then I'll just make one of each. While it may not look like much, what I've done is outline the stone brick with sand so you can't see any stone brick. And I need to kind of do a little bit of landscaping around this thing so that the slope looks semi-natural. It's mostly covered. Now I'm trying to extend this sand out and just make it more natural. Now in some areas I've done a decent job, in other areas not so much. But that'll be a working progress. The thing I really want to get done is closing off the top here with sand. But to do that I need to find out how I'm going to place my redstone for the on-off switch. Now I could do it down the bottom, or I could just do it from a lever on the wall here. I think a lever on the wall here would do fine. Believe it or not, I've gone through nearly two shulker boxes full of sand just to do that, and it still looks very square, but at least it's covered up. So obviously I need to add a little bit more variation around some of these edges. But we'll get there. It's just a matter of time and probably grabbing more sand because two stacks is not going to cut this. Wait a minute, I thought I was out of sand. I just finished streaming and I thought now's a good time to do a little bit of a catch up on what I got up to. Now the first thing we worked on was in Karis's base. Now if you followed the previous episodes you'll know that we've worked in here before Except this time, we were... Can I make it? Can I make it? I can make it! Uh, we worked on a spider farm. Because Karis just behind... Oh, this wall. I hate that elevator. Let's drop out over here. You'll see there is a little bit of a drowning chamber for spiders. Right, I think. Let's just break our way in. She won't tell me off too much. Ah. So there's a, a dungeon spawner in there, spawning spiders, they come up and drown in the water. Now it's not going to get a lot of string, it just means that whenever it happens to be in range of a person, a little bit of string. It's a good thing. Come on, drown already, thank you. So any drops from that thing ends up falling into the item stream here and going downstairs to where her shock loaders are. Now, I'm not expecting her to get a lot of string from it, but for the sake of a small stream, a bit of fun with a friend, you've got on a way to get string. Um, string. So it's, it's slowly trickling in. Now, despite me not building a spider dungeon grinder thing for probably a few years, um, we managed it in not too bad a time. We still have plenty of time to work on a project for me. So I said, why not head over to my island? And we did a little bit more landscaping around the island that we've been building up. So we added a bit more sand, some bone mill to get some seagrass growing, and some kelp. Now it looks semi-natural, and I'm happy with it. Now obviously at some point I want to build something on this island, but that will be for another day. And then when we finished that, ended up with... Uh, Karis raiding me, 
Now it may surprise you to hear that I didn't have plans past the spawner because I was expecting it to take me much longer to do. So at the end of the stream, I kind of allowed myself to get distracted with the thought. I wanted a netherwart farm and started digging out this room and laying out things. Now, obviously I've done half of it and added a redstone block for now because I haven't done the redstone to power it. Um, it will be a button, which means that all the water releases, then the water washes over here, and then I can uh, replace that. Pick up the nether wart, and it's just a matter of getting the right angle, just walk across. Okay, so I came over here to trade with the stonemasons to get rid of some of the excess stone from digging, and get some emeralds, because I've spent quite a lot on glowstone today, and redstone dust. And thought it's about time I regather some emeralds. I've gained 300 bit stacks, but when I checked these chests, I realized that they were overflowing with ingots, which meant we were having stuff go into lava, which is not ideal. And uh, I need to make an effort to get on top of trading away some of this iron, because throwing it into lava is a little bit silly. This may or may not come as a surprise to you. The door that I want to put in here is going to be the same as the other ones. And I still don't know how to build it. Which is why I tend to just look at one I've already made using my alt account. Who can fly freely around the server and look at another door that I built. And after tinkering for about five minutes, I think I've done it. I mean... Wait a minute. That seems right. Go on, let's test it. Uh, in there, da, 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 and... Okay, there's a first. Normally, the first time I forget a piece of redstone dust or something, I don't remember it ever working first time. I would say that was a fairly successful 20 minutes while I was watching a video, except I ran out of soul sand. As in, we have none left. So, uh, a quick trip to the nether. Uh, best grab my shovel this time. Brings me quite a lot of joy every time I come over here and use the door specifically designed for me. Oh, he upgraded the buttons to be wood. That's so much better and easier to see. Um, soul sand? This way? Oh, uh, there is some. But it's a bit of a palaver to get because it will fall into the lava, so we'll grab this stuff. Well, I didn't come for gravel, but I'm always happy to pick it up. Well, that was easier than I expected. I got soul sand and some gravel. I think this is the way home. No. That was rude. Ooh. Uh, damn. Boo! Um. No. Bye. Which direction was I going? This one? Yep, that's home. Now that looks a lot better. I could put a lever on the wall. Um, however, I think I'd rather do a button with a, a delay to it, if I can figure out how to do that. Well, that was simpler than I was expecting. I was thinking it might take me several attempts to get the timing correct. However, I've just used a comparative delay clock and it opens about the right time for all the stuff to flow off now. And then it closes things away. So it's only slightly longer than it needs to be. Now, before I close this up, I best do the very sensible thing of making sure it's not dark back here. Now, I don't need to light this bit up because mobs don't spawn on redstone dust. Just close it. Oh. Oh, Close it off, and we can replant. This may be one of the most impromptu builds I've ever done. I started off building the stairs so I could tidy up the island, and got distracted by the idea of a nether wart farm. Oh, dad joke time. I wasn't sure how to climb the stairs, so I looked for a step-by-step -step tutorial. It was great fun streaming and building, and at time of recording, I've just hit 290 subscribers. 
Every time the number climbs, it puts a huge smile on my face that not only do you all stick around for my goofy videos, but more people have discovered my videos and decided that they want to stick around too. I'd really appreciate it if you give the video a like as it encourages YouTube to promote my content. Join the amazing community of subscribers if you are new, and I hope to see you back here for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.